In this question, we have a cos graph. We know that because a cos graph always starts high up and then goes down like that. Okay, whereas a sin graph always starts at the origin and then goes up like that. Now we know that, an, and, and then also another reason we know is because obviously they've told us. So <laughs> we know that a normal cos graph does this. Okay, it usually starts at one and ends at minus one. This one starts at three and ends at minus three. Okay, so have they moved the graph upwards, downwards, or have they done a bit of both? Well, well done if you said a bit of both, right? They've taken a normal sin, I mean, normal cos graph, and they've dragged this piece up, and they've taken this piece and they've dragged it down and to give this shape over here. But they have not shifted the graph, they've stretched it, right? Because it's gone in two directions. So, if we know, if we look at the original and we look at the the new graph and we look at the lowest value, this is always a good technique, and we look at the highest value. So on an original cos graph, the lowest value is always minus one and the highest value is always one. On this one, the highest value is, sorry, the lowest value is minus three and the highest value is three. So how do you get from there to there? Well, you multiply by three and if you multiply this one by three, it also works. So they've clearly multiplied the whole graph by three. So the answer will be y equals to three cos x. Something that's really important is when they are doing a stretch, this number and this number will be the same. I mean, the one will be a negative and the one will be a positive, but the actual number is the same. If you are shifting the graph, which is what we did like four lessons ago, then the top number and the bottom number won't be the same. For example, a normal cos graph looks like this. If I now shift that cos graph upwards, like that, where this value is now three, and this value is now one, notice I've moved the graph up by two, because usually this point is a one, and usually this point is a minus one, so I added two, and I added two. But now look at the highest value, it's three, and the lowest value is one, so you see they're not the same. Whereas if they only do a shift, I mean a stretch, then the top number and the bottom number is the same. In later videos, we're going to do a shift, which is where you move it upwards or you move it downwards, and we're going to combine that with a stretch, okay? And that's going to be quite interesting, but I'll show you how to do that when we get there. So let's take a look at period, range, amplitude, and domain. So the period of a cos graph in grade 10 is always 360. The range, well, that's your y values, and we can see that the lowest value is minus 3 and the highest value is 3. The amplitude is the distance from the resting position which is over there. So if we go up, we can see that it goes from zero up to three. So the amplitude is three. Then the domain is just from minus 360 on this side up to 360. So we say X is an element from minus 360 up to 360 like that.